Well, you yeah. mentioned early about appropriating this struggle from us and this movement. People were online actually selling face masks on Amazon that featured former police officer Jarek Chauvin kneeling on Floyd's neck, but they've since been removed. Should we be shocked that people are trying to profit from Floyd's death or, I mean, it's disgusting. We should be repulsed. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my students was just telling me about the TikTok challenge. Have you heard about that with the knee on the neck? Yes, yes, I did hear that. And, about. you know, it's that repulsed me. Um, I can't believe that that's happening. I can't believe TikTok hasn't, you know, censored it and taking those down just as quickly as they'll, you know, stop me from using certain music and things like that. But um, until, you know, we step in and, and do something, you know, what are we doing to change that? What are we doing? You know, who's manufacturing those things? You know, if there's going to be a consciousness, then it has to be all the way around. It just can't be when it's convenient or when it's trendy. You know? On top of people being shameless with, with their racism, they're just shameless. It seems like people are just shameless across the board. Do you see the things that people are becoming famous for? So there's no, I think back in the day, there was more of a, shame or people would be embarrassed about certain things but now i mean look what kind of president we have who and he's giving permission i feel like he's I giving feel exactly. it's like you know well if that's how you feel then show how you feel say how you feel it's okay so he's condoning it you know when he did what he did to those protesters just so he could get that photo op you know, it's it's repulsive. It's like, where are the morals? Where are the um, the inner core values? And I think that's what's really missing, you know? Um, and not just from him, mm -hmm. but he's giving that permission in what he does and how he lives his life for others to do what they've probably been thinking all along anyway, you know? Remember how different things were when Obama was president? People, it was yeah. like, oh, oh, let me sit up straight and butt up my shirt. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was leadership that had integrity, you know, and a, and a moral compass, you know, but now we're um, almost every man for himself, you know, so I just really encourage these young people to get out there and use their voice and their power and vote and what, vote and vote. I, what about the, the Be Best campaign that the First Lady has? She didn't, she, isn't her whole campaign about bullying online and and her husband is like the number one offender. I'm sorry, who? Who are you talking about? Um, Melania Trump. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I haven't heard anything about her. <laughs> I saw her, um, she, was, she was doing something. This was a while ago and she was something? launching it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something. But yeah, very interesting. I'm like, who, huh, what? Oh, I mean, what a difference. Michelle was planting gardens right. and working out. Right. She was out there. That's what I'm saying. She, they were, but they were grassroots. You know what I mean? That's that Chicago. That's that, we're going to get in here. We're going to put our hands on it. We're going to make it. We're going to tweak it, twerk it. We're going to make this work, you know? And that's what we miss because they were about it. You know, I felt like they were tangible. They were. Know? They were accessible. Okay. And it was like, they were everything yummy. <laughs> you know, it's like, hmm. Speaking